Just a Daydream by Mercer Mayer. Please like, share, and subscribe. There's a bully in my neighborhood. Sometimes when we play ball, he takes it. Then we can't play. If I have a bag of candy, he makes me give it to him. Sometimes he pushes me just for fun. And then I cry. If I were super critter, then that bully would never bother me. I'd wear a mask and have a long cape. I would fly high in the sky. I'd fly faster than a jet plane. I'd be strong too. I'd be able to lift my dad's car. My dad would be so amazed. If I saw that bully, I'd pick him up and carry him to the top of the tallest tree. I would leave him there until he said, I'm sorry, 50 million times. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. I would make him play with all the little kids and be their friends. I would rescue critters from fires and earthquakes. My hero. I would help the police catch robbers and bad guys. I would be able to see through walls so they couldn't hide from me. You're under arrest. Oops. Nothing could hurt me. What a critter. If aliens from a flying saucer came down to invade Earth, I would chase them away. If dinosaurs appeared and started wrecking things and scaring everybody, I would carry him off to a desert island so he wouldn't hurt anyone. I would teach him to be nice and to do tricks. He would be my pet. I would build a big castle on the highest mountain. It would be full of my special super critter stuff. It might be lonely, so I would bring my mom and dad and even my little sister to live with me. It would be so cool if I were super critter, <sighs> but I guess I'm not. Someone's here to see you, little critter, Mom said. It was the bully. What are you doing here? I asked. Do you want to play ball? <laughs> and so he made friends with the bully. And that's the end. I hope you like little critter. I hope you like that story. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. I love you guys. Thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye.